Academy also demands quality public education for all our students. And that starts with good teachers. Teachers change lives for the good. And in Illinois, we honor our teachers and we appreciate their hard work. In the last five years, we've been getting the job done on education reform. Parents are now empowered with a report card on their children's schools. Teacher evaluations have strong benchmarks and performance is prioritized over tenure. In fact, our reforms have become a model for the nation, but our unfinished job on education starts where it matters most, in early childhood. Study after study has shown that high quality early childhood education provides the best return of any public investment we can make, more than $7 for every dollar invested. That's why our state invests in programs serving our at-risk children from birth all the way to kindergarten. Since I've taken office, I've always fought to preserve early childhood education from radical budget cuts. And we found a way to invest $45 million to build early childhood centers in high, high need areas, such as Dalton and Kankakee and Cicero. Our state actually leads the nation in the number of three-year-olds attending preschool. But the status quo is not enough. It's not even close. The reality is more than a third of our youngest and most vulnerable children don't have the opportunity to attend early learning programs before they enter kindergarten. That's unacceptable. As at-risk children who don't receive early childhood education are 25% more likely to drop out of school, 40% more likely to become a teen parent, 50% more likely to be placed in special education, 60% more likely to never attend college, and 70% more likely to be arrested for a violent crime. Scripture tells us where there is no vision, the people perish. And that's why today I'm calling for a bold birth to five initiative that will be focused on three keys to a healthy child. Prenatal care, access to early learning opportunities, and strong parent support. This initiative actually starts before a mother gives birth to her child by ensuring that she has access to prenatal services throughout her pregnancy. The good news is that prenatal care is already available to expectant mothers with modest incomes through our existing programs. Yet 25% of our low income mothers are not receiving the prenatal care they need. Children pay the price. Mothers who do not receive prenatal care are three times likely, more likely to give birth to a low weight baby, which leads to increased risks for cardiovascular disease, diabetes, learning difficulties, and poor development. And also the taxpayers pay the price. The cost of a birth where a baby is low weight is five times that of a normal birth. In addition to significant medical needs that eventually burden the system, these children often require early intervention services, remedial education, and grade repetition. And they lose out on the opportunity to achieve their full potential. Through our Birth to Five initiative, over the next five years, we will work with our community partners, schools and hospitals and faith-based organizations to identify expectant mothers and connect them to prenatal services we can ensure more children are born into the opportunities they deserve and we can save taxpayers money. But we won't stop there. When the human brain is forming in a child's early life, it provides a critical window of opportunity to develop key academic, social, and cognitive skills that will determine success in school and in life. That's why the second pillar of our Birth to Five initiative is to provide every child with access to quality early learning opportunities. This is especially important for our African American and Latino children. Children like Cadence Marie Robinson, a five-year-old who I recently met when I visited Spencer Technology Academy on the west side of, of Chicago. She sat on my knee and she told me she was getting ready for kindergarten and that she then read the numbers on my business card to me. 
something that she could do thanks to the Head Start program that she was attending. With strong early childhood education, kids like Cadence are set on a path for long-term success. We're really, really proud of you, Cadence. Thank you very much for what you're doing. We also see the importance of early childhood education in people like Christine Nickpon. Raised by a single mom in Chicago's Pilsen neighborhood, Christine's family struggled every month to make ends meet. Her mother always knew she wanted more for her children, and after seeing a flyer, she enrolled Christine in an early learning program. Christine then went to high school, then to college, and last year she commit, uh, completed her master's degree at the University of Chicago. Today, she's a fellow at the Latino Policy Forum and striving for a career in early childhood. Good job and good choice, Christine. <clears throat> in 2009, I established the Governor's Office of Early Childhood Development. And as a result, we've secured federal grants from Race to the Top that are allowing us to deliver high quality early care and education programs. By properly investing in existing early learning programs and making this a budget priority, we can transform lives and save taxpayers money. But we can't stop there. A child, a parent, is a child's first teacher and best teacher. Moms and dads play the most important role in promoting the healthy development of their children. And not all families, unfortunately, are equipped with the information and support that they need to create healthy learning environments. That's why the third critical part of our Birth to Five initiative calls for ensuring parents make sure they have the support and services that they need. Family involvement during preschool is linked with stronger pre-literacy skills, math skills, social skills, and a positive attitude. So over the next five years, we'll connect families to a range of services and training opportunities to help them support their children's education. We'll expand our home visiting program and build on innovative community partnerships in places like East St. Louis, Aurora, North Lawndale, and in Marion. Once our Birth to Five initiative is fully implemented, mothers will be connected with prenatal care to ensure the healthy birth and development of their children. Children in Illinois will have access to quality early learning starting at birth, and parents will have the tools to lead their children towards success in school, college, careers, and beyond. Illinois can lead the nation in early childhood education. We already have the foundation in place, and now is the time to get the job done for Illinois' littlest. 